It was a perfect summer morning in Yellowstone National Park, July 23, 2024. The sky was clear, families wandered the boardwalks of Biscuit Basin, marveling at the vibrant pools and the scent of sulfur and pine. Suddenly, at 10 a.m., a deep rumble vibrated through the ground. Confused tourists looked around as the shaking intensified. Then the earth split open. Black Diamond Pool erupted, not a gentle geyser, but a violent explosion. Boiling water, mud and rocks blasted skyward, tearing apart the boardwalk and sending people fleeing in terror. Park rangers shouted urgent orders, struggling to direct the panicked crowd to safety. Eyewitnesses described the ground shaking so hard they nearly fell, and rocks flying through the air. The chaos was overwhelming, but the eruption was only the beginning. The area remained unstable, forcing rangers to evacuate the entire basin. This was no ordinary geyser event, something far more dangerous was unfolding. Evacuation orders spread quickly and by nightfall Biscuit Basin was eerily silent. Emergency vehicles lit up the darkness and the air was thick with steam and tension. The explosion was over but the questions had just begun. What had happened? Was this a warning of something worse? Yellowstone's beauty had revealed its volatile heart. The park was closed, the world was watching, deep beneath the surface a powerful engine had awakened. The tranquility of the morning was shattered, replaced by uncertainty. The once bustling tourist hub was now a restricted zone, the smell of churned earth lingered in the air. The day ended with a stark reminder, Yellowstone's power is real, the park's future was suddenly uncertain. The world waited for answers, and beneath it all, Yellowstone simmered. To grasp the gravity of the explosion, you need to understand Yellowstone. This isn't just a park, it's a vast wilderness spanning Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Beneath its beauty lies one of the world's largest active volcanic systems. The park sits atop a massive caldera, formed by a supervolcano eruption 640,000 years ago. That eruption blanketed North America in ash, dwarfing Mount St. Helens. The heat from the magma chamber below powers Yellowstone's famous geysers and hot springs. Water seeps deep underground, is superheated and erupts back to the surface creating over 10,000 hydrothermal features. The park's vibrant colors come from heat-loving microorganisms. Yellowstone is a living geological laboratory, its beauty and danger are inseparable. The ground constantly shifts, thousands of small earthquakes occur each year, geysers appear and vanish as the underground system changes. This dynamic geology fascinates scientists and draws millions of visitors. But as recent events show, it's also capable of sudden, violent change. Yellowstone's allure is matched only by its unpredictability. The park's wonders are a direct result of the volatile forces below. Its greatest attraction is also its greatest risk. The events of 2024 proved just how quickly that risk can become reality. The Black Diamond Pool Blast wasn't a volcanic eruption, it was a hydrothermal explosion. These rare events happen when Yellowstone's underground plumbing gets blocked, trapping superheated water and steam. Over time, minerals form a hard seal, pressure builds, and eventually, the cap fails catastrophically. In an instant, water flashes to steam, expanding explosively, and blasting debris skyward. The July event was a textbook, but especially violent example. It wasn't isolated, smaller explosions followed in November and January. The ground remained dangerously unstable, with pressure refusing to dissipate. The entire Biscuit Basin became a ticking time bomb. The National Park Service made the tough call, close Biscuit Basin indefinitely for public safety. No one could predict the next explosion. The once safe boardwalks were now off limits. Nature had reclaimed the area and the risk was too great. The closure was a sobering reminder of nature's unpredictability. The beauty of the basin was now a distant memory, replaced by caution tape and warning signs. Yellowstone's hydrothermal system had proven just how volatile it could be, the park's wild heart was on full display. After the explosions, scientists from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory rushed in. The park's closure gave them rare access to the hazardous zone. Their mission uncover what triggered the blasts and assess future risks. They installed seismic sensors, GPS stations, and webcams to monitor every tremor and shift. Early data confirmed a hydrothermal explosion caused by a sudden blockage. But questions remained. Why did the seal form so quickly? Was this a local issue or a sign of deeper change? Scientists compared new data with decades of records, searching for patterns. They analyzed water and gas samples, mapped the underground system and watched for anomalies. The investigation continues, with public safety hanging in the balance. Yellowstone's secrets are being unraveled, one data point at a time. The closure of Biscuit Basin sent shockwaves through the region. Yellowstone draws millions of tourists each year, fueling local economies. 
hotels, restaurants, and tour companies face cancellations and empty rooms. Small businesses relying on summer crowds suffered devastating losses. Seasonal workers lost jobs, and anxiety spread through gateway towns. The geological risk became an economic crisis overnight. Park officials tried to reassure visitors that most of Yellowstone remained open. They promoted alternative attractions but headlines focused on danger and closures. The events exposed the fragile link between nature and economic survival. The region's prosperity depends on Yellowstone's stability. The ground's unrest echoed in the uncertainty on Main Street. The community's future was now tied to the park's unpredictable heart. In the digital age, fear spreads faster than facts. After the explosion, social media erupted with rumors of a supervolcano awakening. Viral videos showed bison running, fueling panic about an imminent eruption. Most of these clips were old or taken out of context but the narrative caught fire. Park officials and scientists scrambled to counter misinformation. They clarified wildlife movements were normal, and there was no mass exodus. The real risk was local, not global. The supervolcano myth overshadowed the true story of hydrothermal danger. The episode highlighted the need for rapid, clear communication. In Yellowstone, facts must move as quickly as fear. What's the real risk? Scientists are clear, the explosions are from the shallow hydrothermal system, not the deep magma chamber. There's no evidence of an impending super eruption. Yellowstone is one of the most closely monitored volcanoes on Earth. Warning signs of a super eruption, massive earthquakes, dramatic ground swelling, and gas changes are absent. The odds of a super eruption are minuscule, far less than being struck by lightning. The most likely future event is a slow lava flow, not a cataclysmic blast. Hydrothermal explosions are dangerous locally, but not globally. The park's closure is a precaution, not a sign of disaster. Yellowstone's power is real, but the threat is not what social media suggests. The real story is about the volatile, shallow system just beneath our feet. Respect for the park's power is more important than ever. Yellowstone's recent events are a humbling reminder of nature's power. We like to think we're in control, but the Earth has its own timetable. The closure of Biscuit Basin isn't failure, it's wisdom. For decades we've walked above a simmering, unpredictable system. Now we're forced to step back and respect its volatility. Scientists continue their work but perfect prediction is impossible. Yellowstone demands patience, caution, and awe. The story isn't one of doom, but of wonder and humility. We are guests in a wild, dynamic landscape. Sometimes the only response is to listen and let the Earth speak.